So guys, in today's video, I have some very, very bad news to tell you guys. I unplugged the incubator because unfortunately, none of the babies made it. So we are going to crack open each egg to see what's inside. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, I have some very, very bad news to tell you guys. So if most of you have been following the channel, you'll know that I received four peacock eggs that I started incubating. And as you all know, one of the eggs was infertile, which means there was no baby growing inside. There was no progress, no development. So I removed the egg from the incubator so it didn't explode and infect the other eggs. But guys... Something happened to the last three eggs. Now, even though these eggs were growing strong, they were growing fast, and there was babies inside of these eggs, tragedy took a turn for the worse. So before we hop into today's video, I'm gonna show you all the growth and development of the three little babies. Flashback. Guys, this is the moment you all have been waiting for. So it has been a couple days since you all have seen the growth on the eggs. And unfortunately, if you look over here, Pearl and Emerald are probably not going to hatch. I don't see any new developments. But guys, if I turn the light up over here and I turn the flashlight on, you are not going to believe this, guys. I'm going to move the incubator over a little bit. And we're going to grab this little guy out. Now, this is Ruby. And guys, if you look here, oh, I don't know if you heard that, guys. This little guy is starting to chirp you can see right there that is his beak we have a little pea hen growing in here guys oh my goodness he is going to hatch any day now so guys i put ruby back in the incubator and we are gonna check on her in a little bit to see if we have any progress guys are you hearing this the little baby is making noises and he is trying to make his way out of his egg so if i'm gonna be really quiet so you guys can hear it Oh my goodness, do you hear that, guys? This baby is talking to us. Hi, little guy. End of flashback. So, guys, I'm in my garage with the incubator and the eggs, and you can see that I unplugged the incubator because, unfortunately, none of the babies made it. So, if I just take this top off right here and place it down right next to me, we're going to candle each and every egg. So, I'm going to turn the little flashlight on, and we're going to grab sapphire right here and we're gonna just candle and you can see that if this baby was about to hatch or was close to hatching you would see the beak up here in the air pocket right here but you can see something went wrong in the incubator and the growth stopped right here you can see there, there's a little vein right there but something totally went wrong and the baby unfortunately didn't make it now we're gonna candle pearl right here and you can see that the same exact thing happened. We don't see any development. We don't even see the beak right here. The growth stopped right here, but there was definitely a baby growing inside. Now we're gonna candle the last and final egg. And this is Ruby now, guys. You can see the baby right there. You can see its beak if we look closely, but you can see that this egg is no longer good. It is completely black. We don't see any movement, any chirping, and this baby unfortunately didn't make it as well. Now guys, I was as shocked as you guys when I found out that these babies were no longer alive. Now since this has never happened before to me, I had to put a little research in. So as you notice, Sapphire and Pearl right here, they just completely stopped growing. Now when I did a little research, I found out that if the temperature gets past 102, it will just completely kill the embryos inside. Now if it does get too cold, what will happen is that it will stunt their growth and they will have a late hatching. But unfortunately with Ruby, I think this little guy right here just completely suffocated in the shell. You can see that this little guy made it. He was trying to get out of the shell, trying to move around, chirping and moving his egg. But something just totally went wrong and he didn't make it as well. Now, guys, when hatching eggs, it is totally normal to have complications. Now, the eggs might not make it. Some might hatch. Some may suffocate in the shell. But it is just so sad that this had to happen to all three of the babies and none of them made it at all. But now, guys, we can use this as a learning lesson for future eggs we may incubate. So what I'm going to do with the three eggs right now is we're going to take them like this. We're going to bring them into the kitchen and we are going to crack open each egg to see what's inside. So we have all our tools ready to inspect these eggs and see what's inside. So first, we're going to leave Ruby for last and we're going to start with Sapphire and Pearl. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna go where the air sac is, which is right here. And these eggs are very, very sturdy. So we're just gonna try to poke a tiny hole in there, guys. We got the first hole. We're just gonna poke a little bit all around. Okay, guys, we're getting somewhere. Now this doesn't really do anything since there's an air sac right there. You can see nothing's coming out. Nothing is on the little clothespin right here. So now I'm gonna take my little, little tool right here and we're just gonna start peeling back the egg just like this. Now guys, these eggs have been sitting in there just in case they start developing for quite some time. Now guys, these eggs might be just completely rotten. I literally have no idea. Oh my goodness, guys, that egg looks cooked. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see it yet on camera. Oh, I think I think we're gonna need another plate. This is gonna get everywhere, guys. So we got the extra plate in case this yolk just explodes everywhere. So we're just gonna slowly and surely keep removing the shell where the air sac is. And guys, just, just look at that. Oh my goodness, do you see that? That is a brown sack full of nasty, nasty goo. So we're just gonna keep on just removing it. Oh my God, it got on me guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness guys. So we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna pop it on open just like this. We're gonna take this off. Okay guys, we're gonna slowly do it. Oh my goodness. Oh guys, do you see that? I'm gonna pour the juices out and try to remove the egg a little bit more, but you can see that we have a developed baby in here. You can see that its feathers are right there, but it just didn't develop enough to where it was ready to come out of the shell. Oh my goodness, guys. <gasps> Poor thing, oh my goodness, look how sad. So guys, I'm gonna just remove around. You can see this is a yolk sac right here. We're just gonna remove around it and pour the whole thing out and inspect this little baby. So we're almost there, guys. Oh my goodness, if I just, oh my gosh. Now guys, we're gonna pour this little baby out in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. This is crazy, oh, oh my goodness. Guys, look at all of those veins. Do you see that? Those are the veins that we were seeing on the shell when we were candling it. Oh my goodness, guys. <gasps> you can see that we have the little baby right here, but he just didn't develop enough to be able to come out of the shell. Guys, I feel terrible. I, I don't even wanna look at this anymore. Now guys, I wanna show you something right here. If you look right here, now if you look at this giant sack right here, now this is a yolk sack. Now the reason why I didn't crack the egg open is because number one, this guy was way too underdeveloped for me to crack the egg open and help him. And number two, if I damage this while I'm trying to help him out and he is near hatching or is too early to hatch, well this is where they get all of their nutrients and it will really mess up their development as they start growing to become big strong peacocks. Guys, now we have the second egg pearl right here, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take this bobby pin right here, and we're just gonna puncture the air sac right here. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna do this a couple times until we have a big enough hole to where we can start peeling the pieces back. Jesus, guys, this egg is so tough. Like, let me tell you guys, these eggs are very, very strong. I mean, look at this, I'm having great trouble right now. So I'm just gonna take this and go on ahead and just start making my way in to the egg, just like this. And we're just gonna basically do the same exact thing, be very careful so we don't puncture the sack just yet. But guys, do you see that already? This is just like sapphire, guys. Oh my goodness, I can already see the feathers on this baby. And we haven't even punctured the little sack open. So we're just gonna go on ahead and oh my goodness, look, I already got the sack, guys. So let me just get a couple other pieces back just like this. And we're gonna go on ahead and just peel this off. Three, two. Oh, look at that juice, guys. That is just disgusting. Oh my goodness, you can see, look at the baby right here, guys. Oh no, I feel so bad for these babies that they didn't make it. We're just gonna go on ahead. Oh, look at that pour out. Oh my gosh, guys, that is disgusting. Guys, I wanted you to comment down below on a scale of one to 10, how bad do you think this smells? 
And if you guys think if you smelt this, if you would all throw up because I, I'm almost there, guys. It smells so bad. Oh my goodness. So we almost got the whole thing out right here. So we're just gonna kind of like shake it out just a little bit. <gasps> okay, guys. Okay, we got it. Oh my goodness. You can see the yolk sac right here. It is just completely pressed against the little baby right here. You can see the veins. And if I just peel this out right here, Oh my goodness, guys, look at the little baby right there. We have a little peacock, oh my goodness. Now guys, I just wanna tell you that I'm not getting any enjoyment out of this. I wish I didn't even have to make this video or crack these eggs open. But guys, I wanted to educate you. I wanted to show you the process of incubating and how it's not all sunshines and rainbows when dealing with animals. Sometimes you lose animals, sometimes not all the animals make it, and sometimes the animals get really sick and pass away and this is just the sad reality of dealing with animals like this sometimes you know things go wrong and unfortunately babies like this will pass on but now what i want you to do guys is comment down below a little prayer for these guys that all three of them make it to birdie heaven now guys we have the last and final egg ruby now this one is gonna be a little harder because this little baby was fully developed and almost ready to get out of the shell so bear with me guys so we're just gonna go ahead and go in the air sack and just carefully break it open just like this okay now guys since we have that we're just gonna start sticking this in and peeling it back slowly oh my goodness guys do you see that that was a feather right there so i'm gonna be very very careful when opening this egg because i don't want to damage this baby at all so we're just gonna be very very careful and we're gonna go on the lining of the shell just like this goodness guys oh, poor thing look how sad this is guys okay. oh wow guys look at this poor baby i feel so bad guys you can see that its whole body is right here so i'm just carefully gonna keep doing this i'm peeling the shell back We're almost there, guys. Bear with me here. A few moments later. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. If you look right here, that is the baby's beak. So I'm going to just work around this. We're going to try to get this baby out. Oh my goodness. I feel terrible. Poor little thing. You can see that it broke out of the sack right here. and was trying to make its way out. But unfortunately, if you look at all of that liquid, I don't know if you can see it and it's picking up on camera. It definitely inhaled all of that liquid and definitely drowned in the egg. So we're just going to slowly open this up right here. And just keep on peeling away at this little baby. Alright guys, we're almost there. Okay. Now if you see guys, this guy is a little tricky to get out since he was fully developed. He took up more space of the egg, so it's not that easy to get this little guy out. So we're almost there. So now I'm going to see if I can just, oh, okay, the, the egg is just completely falling apart. We're just going to slowly try and just shake the baby out just like this, and I don't think it's working. But if you look, oh my goodness, guys, that's his legs right here. Okay, guys, we almost got the whole baby out. So we're just going to go ahead and, like, try to maneuver this. Okay, there's not much shell to remove now, so we're just going to keep on peeling back. Okay, we're almost there guys we got it oh guys we got the last little part of the shell off now guys this this is just so sad i feel terrible that i wasn't able to help this baby you can see that this little guy was just bundled in a ball but he doesn't seem to be in the right hatching position he looked like as if he's pretty squished in there i mean look at this little guy I don't think he would have been able to break out of the shell. Now, you're probably asking why the heck I did not help this baby get out of the shell. Now, there are several, several reasons why. Now, for starters, if you help this little guy too early, well, you can cause bleeding in the yolk sac and completely damage the little baby. And another reason is these guys will gain their strength breaking out of the shell, and that's how they gain their strength to walk, eat, do everything. Now, if I would have helped this guy get out of the shell, well, then he possibly probably wouldn't have been able to walk and then we would have had a disaster on our hands. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna take each and every little baby right here 
and we're gonna pick a nice burial spot to bury each one. Now guys, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna pick a proper burial spot to bury these three little baby peacocks. Now guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Again, another prayer for these little babies that they made it safely to birdie heaven and that they are living it up up there, guys. Now if you guys aren't subscribed already and you all wanna see crazy animal videos, well, what are you waiting for? My channel is in the link down below.